Hello guys, it's Beano123 and I'm back with another r slash entitled parents because this seems to do a lot of views and I've gained like 200 subscribers, 100 each in the past two days. I just want to say thank you guys and hopefully I'll get my glasses tomorrow. But let's get straight into the video. This one's titled Lady Thinks She Owns My Horse. Here's some background info. I'm a horse rider and I own a large black jumping horse named Apollo. I am 15 and I do a lot of jumping with Apollo. This takes place at a horse show. Let's get started. So I was at a horse show with Apollo and I was getting ready to go into the show ring. We were standing outside the ring waiting for the show to start. I noticed this lady and her daughter staring at me and Apollo. I only had about 15 minutes until the class started so I got on Apollo and walked over to the warm up field next to the ring. I was just trotting and cantering around. I looked at the judges list and saw that I was second to go in so I started slowing down a bit. I started to do one last canter around the field. I then heard a little girl yell pony and I looked and saw a little girl running up to me and Apollo. Apollo spooked and bolted and I nearly fell off. By the time I got him calmed down again, it was nearly time to go into the ring so I stood next to the ring waiting. The judges called me up and we trotted into the ring. We did our jump smoothly and didn't have any faults. We trotted out of the ring and back out into the field. I dismounted and started walking Apollo to the barn. I took off his track and put him into the store so I could go change out my show clothes. I came back to see the little girl in Apollo's store. I rushed up and asked her to leave and told her it wasn't safe. She ran off to her mum and I took Apollo out to graze. Out in the field, the mother and the child came up to me and started talking about Apollo. The child then asked if she could pet Apollo. I let her pet him, but then she started pulling on his mane. I told her to stop. I took her hands off his mane. Then the mother started screaming at me. I asked her to stop screaming because of Apollo. The little girl then hit Apollo. He then spooked and took off with the lead rope dangling off of him. I took off after him and so did the mother. In my haste, I tripped on a pothole and the mother grabbed his lead rope. I thought she was going to help. But she put the kid on his back. The girl started yelling and slapping Apollo, which caused him to bolt. The girl fell off and Apollo kept running back towards me. I grabbed his lead rope and walked him back to his stall, half limping. I put him away and found the mother crouched down next to her crying daughter. The mother started yelling, It's all your fault she fell. She just wanted to have fun. She's an amazing girl and deserves to ride your horse. Your horse is evil. We're going to get that horse put down. I then told her that she had no right to do that to me or Apollo. I then went to the showrunners and reported an incident of mistreatment towards me and my horse. I told them the story and the cops were called. I watched this scene unfold of the cops taking down the mother's name and escorting them out of the showgrounds. They took the girl to the hospital. She was fine and thanked me for reporting them. I checked on Apollo. He was also fine. I went back to the judges to see what place I got and despite this awful encounter, I got first. Moral of the story, don't mess with Apollo. And all I have to say to that is, damn, what kind of crazy mother picks up the child and gets the lead rope and just puts the child on it? Like, I'm a grown adult and like, I ain't gonna try to mess with a horse because I don't know what it is, but like, you know all those memes where like the donkeys and stuff just back boot the horse? No, the horse has like back boots you. I'm not getting kicked by no horse. This is titled, Entitled Parent Attacks Me When I Refuse to Let Her Daughter Steal My Bike. Sorry for the bad formatting, I'm on mobile. This story happened 7 years ago on my birthday and I had just turned 11. I am 17 now, turning 18 later this year. So the details may have been misremembered. My grandma was over to visit and dropped off presents. My bike was one of my first ever. Sorry for the bad formatting, I'm on mobile. This story happened 7 years ago on my birthday and I had just turned 11. I am 17 now, turning 18 later this year, so the details may have been misremembered. My grandma was over to visit and dropped off presents. My bike was on the front porch. After a while, my grandma noticed a group of three teens approached the front porch, grabbed my bike and began walking off. My mother quickly ran up to them and confronted them about it, telling them to give me my bike back. They gave some BS excuse about it belonging to one of their brothers. Despite the fact that I had the bike for 3 years before I moved into the house. Before admitting they were wrong and giving it back, we thought the situation was over. It was not. It was an hour later, I was outside, playing with some neighbours. One of the teens returned, this time accompanied by her mother. She walks up to me and demands that I give her daughter my bike. I explain that she tried to steal it. She says that says that she didn't and even if she did, I should still give it to her because if it was that unsecure, I deserve to lose it. When I still didn't comply, she began to yell at me. I don't remember much of what she yelled, but one thing I very clearly remember was, how dare you accuse my innocent beep of bike theft. 
You'll pay for hurting her feelings. Being 11, I didn't know what to do and I began to break down and cry. This is when my neighbour called the cops. The EP then picked me up and began choking me. Being a slightly underweight 11 year old, I was powerless to do anything against the woman. This is when my ex-marine dad comes home from work with a fury I haven't seen before or since this incident. He slams her to the ground and says, get your hands off my son. She gets back up and begins arguing but it's clear that she is all bark and no bite at this point. One of my neighbours had caught the whole thing on tape and gave the cops all the evidence they needed to arrest her for assault of a minor. I eventually met the girl at the grocery store four years later when she apologised for trying to steal my bike. I explained that her foster parents were, and I quote, a thousand times better than her mother. And I just find this whole thing crazy. No way, just if this is true, because I don't know, I find it a bit weird. It's just like... No way your mother would go through all that hassle for a bike that you tried to steal. Like, you must have told your mother something. There's no way you'd go to your mother and be like, Hey mother, I tried to steal a bike and I failed. It's just like, you must have told your mom, or oh, someone stole my bike or something. There's no way a mother's gonna go randomly that crazy. But then who knows, I'm just speaking from a logical point or stand. My son has gotten really good grades lately. My brand new iPhone XS. Oh, parents these days are getting too much crazy. They're turning into shoes and beggars. And this is so totally going to be my thumbnail because I love Tom and Jerry. This one's titled, My dog sent entitled parent and her kid to jail. Sit back and enjoy. This is long because I apparently can't do short. Many years ago, I was living in a beautiful sunny southern state. I had a cute little house that was completely fenced in, 5 fence in front, 8 fence on the sides and a 10 chain link fence in the back. I'm fortunate enough to work from home, my quote office was my patio unless it was raining. My dog Sari, German Shepherd slash Wattweiler mix kept me company, at a year old she was a big girl at 120 pounds, she was generally very sweet and kind and protective. She was well trained but also had a knack for disappearing to play with her animal friends. So I kept her on a chain too, if we were outside. High school kids in the area had the tendency to use the alleyway behind my house to get to and from school. Most would stop and say hi to Sari and give her attention. She loved it and I honestly didn't mind. One day I noticed that anytime Sari was alone outside, some kids would rattle their back fence, throw things at it, then scream and yell at Sari. The kids would run off before I could see who they were. In case things got worse, I bought some security cameras and brought Sari with me anytime I went inside when the kids would be around. One day, I had to grab some work in the house and left Sari outside, just for the moment. From inside, I heard the fence rattle and then Sari yelped in pain. I rushed outside just in time to see a kid try to throw a rock at Sari, along with some other kids. I was pissed. As I rushed over to Sari, I calmly asked him, Did it ever occur to you to wonder why I keep my dog chained in fenced yarn? Then I unhooked her. Sari ran at my back fence and climbed over it. The kids started running down the alley with Sari right behind them, barking away. I let her go about half a block. Then I whistled for her back. She came back trotting back, all happy as can be. I checked her over and gave her a treat. She was fine. A couple of hours later, one of the kids came back with his mother, E.P. E.P. screaming. You fucking bitch! You had your dog attack my son! He was only having a fun time! He's just a boy! Kid was at least 16 years old. You scared him! It was just a joke! You had no right to do that! I'm calling the police and having that dog fucking shot! Blah blah blah. I literally couldn't get a word in. Then she started threatening me, so I called the police. The operator could hear her playing as day, even though EP was about at least 40 feet from me. The police showed up in about 5 minutes, 2 cars, I guess they were in the area, 4 officers, all very nice guys, 2 officers come to talk to me, the other 2 talk to EP and her son, EP never stopped screaming and cussing. I explained what happened and showed the video to the officers, show all of Sari's vet and training papers, I filled a report, asked to press charges, the officers are petting Sari all the while because she's demanding attention from her new friends, she has her happy face on. Yes, Sari actually smiles. The three of us and Sari 
on a leash, go outside towards the other group. We're about 10 feet from them when Sari suddenly cuts in front of me to stop me and starts growling. The skin around her face went tight, making it look like a hair covered skull. The hair on her back raises up. Sari is very scared when she's like that. EP screaming, See? That bitch raised that dog to attack black people. Fucking racist cunt. That fucking dog needs to be put down. The other two officers that were with me were African American, so no, that part always annoys me, so I include it. I called back one of the officers that I had been talking to. He didn't want to come too close as Sari is showing large teeth, so I moved back towards my house as quietly as I could. I told the officer that either EP or Kid were carrying a gun, that's why Sari started getting protective. It had happened several times before. I guess to error on the side of the caution or to shut me up. He decided to search EP and Kid. EP had an unregistered gun. Kid had a 6 inch switchable blade. Not legal in the state. So in addition to a charge of animal cruelty, they got nailed for carrying a concealed weapon, being in possession of a firearm while on probation, resisting arrest and a couple of other charges. EP never stopped screaming the entire time. This happened and while being driven away, I don't think that's how EP or Kid expected to end the day, but I enjoyed it. Even better, I never saw her or her kid again and the kid stopped harassing Sari. Edit. I'll have to look for a photo of Sari. Unfortunately, she went over the rainbow bridge about 5 years ago. Oh, that's just really sad. Oh, The dog's dead. Press F for respect, guys. But damn, that's a huge dog and that's hilarious. If I ever had a dog, I would wish to be a trainer like that. Just tell them, if anyone annoys you, just run over the fence and attack them. But only in America. You have, you have, you have an issue with a dog, what do you do? You bring a knife and a freaking gun. I find that crazy. But apart from that, good they went jail and this is hilarious in the sense that karma is a bitch. Anyways guys, this has been a 1-3. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. I tried extra hard trying to make this video better and less stuttering and stuff. Till next time, peace out.